earphones and this video is for you are a power user and I've tried to answer a few of the questions one of my viewers Omkar has asked Hello friends, I'm back again with another video. This time it is about some tips and tricks that you can use on stock Android phones and particularly on Nokia phones. And this video is particularly dedicated to those guys who are Android power users. So if you are a power user, if you like to explore your phones, then do watch this video. And I've tried to answer a few of the questions. One of my viewers, Omkar, has asked me one question. So Omkar, if you're watching this video, the answer is in this video. So continue watching this video. Now let's get started. And before we start, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you're new to my channel, then do hit the subscribe button. And if you have already subscribed, then guys, a big thank you to all of you guys. So let's get started. Now let's first start with how to actually restrict apps in the background. This is one thing which is very useful because it is actually going to improve the overall performance of the phone. Now how to do it? It's very simple. What you have to do, go to setting, okay, then about phone. Now what do you have to do actually? You have to enter into developer option. For that what do you have to do guys? Just tap thrice on this option that is called build number then enter your you know the password or whatever the pattern is then this will be there so here you can see that now under advanced there is one option called developer option so tap it there and then you will have lots of options and even I have not explored all the options but I have found some of them which are really useful so I'll be sharing these things so first of all how to actually restrict background applications so for that what you have to do go down scroll down and here you can see that background process limit okay this option this is under I believe hardware accelerated rendering there you can see media then under apps background process limit so what you can do tap here and now you can set the limit how many apps will be running under you know in the background so normally I believe that if you keep it at three that would be enough because nowadays most of us we install a lot of apps on our phones right and there are a lot of apps that are actually running in the background and we are not aware of it and it is actually reducing the speed the system speed and the performance and sometimes we feel like that the phone is becoming slow so this will actually help you to restrict the background application so if you set it to three I would believe that it will be enough okay obviously this will actually restrict multitasking also so then you have to decide uh, how many applications you want to run okay so I have tried running three apps and it is actually working pretty fine okay now the next thing is actually notification channel okay that is something actually I'm trying to cover the things which are actually useful to get the optimum speed from the phone okay now what is this actually there are a lot of apps that send a lot of notifications like whatsapp right suppose there are groups and group notifications are really irritating so you can actually restrict those notification actually you don't have to uh, mute the group what you can do simply go to setting okay then apps and notification there you can see that all apps right so you just go to that section and go to that app that is whatsapp for an example now here you will get the option that is called permission right and notification so here you can see that notification is on so all the notification will be shown now if you don't want to watch or see any group notification what do you have to do tap it here then you can see here that these are show notifications it's on everything is on so every notification will be shown by this app so now if you don't want to watch that uh, group notification just take it Deselect it. 
So what will happen? You will not see any other group notifications. So it will stop showing you the group notifications and that's it guys. So for other apps also you, you can do the same thing, right? For, for an example, Facebook, YouTube also. For an example, YouTube notifications. So you can see the subscriptions. If I want to see the notification for the subscription, I can turn it on. Or if you don't want to see, then you can turn it off. Okay, messages. For this is what you can do. You can restrict the unnecessary notifications like this. And I believe that it is a really a relief from unwanted notifications. Now the next thing is actually, that is the animation. Okay, animation is what, you know, like whenever you use your phone, there are certain animations here you can see that right so you can limit the animation also and for this also you have to go to this developer option what do you have to go there setting advanced then developer option okay there you can see uh, just scroll down here under this drawing menu here you can see that window animation scale okay and transition animation scale okay so here what you can do you can select the animation level okay normally if you keep it to 5x 0.5x then it is actually very good and you can observe that the overall you know the performance of the phone enhanced by this okay so this is something that you can try and it really makes a difference okay so where you have to go under drawing these two options window animation scale transition animation animation scale okay so this is what you can do another thing that i have actually observed here under input if this option show taps if you turn it on actually you can get uh, what you can say you know here i can show you now if i touch if you can notice a visual response is coming right a dot so that is a bit uh, really intuitive, I would say. Right? It looks good. So you can use that also. So from this developer option, these are the things that you can try. And um, another thing which is there that I would like to tell you, that is the lockdown option. The lockdown option is actually this. If you don't know, if I, let me show you that. If I press the power button, there is one option that is being shown here, lockdown. What happens? If I turn it on, what will happen? My fingerprint scanner or if the face unlock is there, those things will not work. Okay, so you can lock your phone like this. So it is another, you know, step towards the, you know, security, I would say. So your, these options will not work. So you can see that you have to put your pattern or the pin code if you have set it. So that is the thing. So how to get it? It's very simple settings then security and locations okay then lock screen preferences tap there you will get this option show lockdown option so if you turn it off you won't get that option in the power option right if you turn it off or on then here you can see that option is there lockdown and it is pretty i would say useful okay now next thing uh, a lot of my viewers actually asking me that how to get this uh, you know this kind of clock and this second unit right it's very simple but actually that feature that is called system user you know tuner that is actually not uh, actually available or you cannot access it easily so what do you have to do normally uh, in case of android oreo what used to happen if you tap the setting option here it used to pop up okay under the setting but now it is gone it is not there that system user you know ui tuner is not there so what you have to do simply you have to download nova launcher okay so nova launcher you have to download and you have to install that app okay this nova launcher so I have already uh, installed it so I just have to open it okay now you can see that that launcher is being applied now just tap on the home, home screen and then you can see this widgets right touch there then this activities option 
tap it for a few seconds then you can get these options okay now scroll down and go to system wait yes yeah system ui what do you have to do tap here okay then system ui demo mode tap it for a few seconds then you can see that this option is there okay this one system ui tuner now you can check your status bar okay there there are a lot of options available two things that i have found really uh, useful sometimes what happens that your phone uh, sometimes it goes to headphone mode only and if you plug in your headphone the sun uh, the sound you know the sound is coming but if you unplug the earphone you can't hear anything so what you can do you can turn off that mode from here headset on off you can do that it's really helpful okay another option is time that is the question that omkar has asked me okay here you can see these are the options that you can try show hours minutes and seconds show hours and minutes default so if you select this option this seconds unit will be shown and if you select default it will not be there okay so this is something that you can do okay so i like this second unit also so that's why i'm using it so from these options i believe this uh, you know headset and the time you option you can use okay plus uh, another option is there that is always on ambient display but it sucks your battery a lot so don't do this okay so this is something that i didn't like and after turning out all these options if you don't like that you know that novel launcher what you can do you simply uninstall that that's it so you don't have to use that launcher to get these options you just access the system ui tuner and uninstall that that's it okay and few of the guys are asking me about uh, another thing that is actually called um, how to watch you know youtube videos you know pip mode on youtube so for that guys you have to get the youtube red app there is a video that i have already made so you can watch that video how to get it but i would suggest that don't install it because that is not a stable version okay so avoid that because most of the apps nowadays they support pip mode like for netflix you know other prime so they support the pip so you can watch those you know streaming channels so that's not a problem so i would suggest that avoid uh, installing any you know junk applications okay and don't use any junk applications on your phone because it slows down the phone and the experience is spoiled okay another news that i would like to share is that um, due to some you know privacy regulations android has actually stopped supporting the call recording option that's the reason that most of the call recording apps are not working so please avoid that and if i come across any uh, app that is actually stable then i will surely let you know okay so i believe that um, i have shared some tips and tricks that you can use and uh, that's it guys in this video till the next video cheers and always do subscribe and share with your friends and help me to build my channel Till the next video, cheers guys.